What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Planner, and we're going to look at the unassigned users from a task action. Now we previously looked at assign users a task action, and that allows you to assign one or more users to a task. Now what that doesn't do though, is that doesn't unassign any users. So assigning users um, to a task allows you to assign one or multiple uh, users to that task. Um, but because it is a party list, we're basically adding to something, we're not taking, a, taking anything away. So there is actually a specific action for unassigning a user from that task, and that's what we're going to take a look at today. So I'm in Power Automate, I've got my flow here, which is a manual trigger flow uh, right up here. I can click on New Step. In the search box, I can search Planner, choose Planner there and I can scroll down until I see unassigned users from a task. So if I select that, it's going to ask me for two things. It's going to ask me for the task ID and the remove users, uh, remove assigned users. Um, so the task ID, this is going to look at all the tasks that you have access to. So this is tasks across your environments that you have access to that you can put in here. You can actually um, paste in some information from other, other steps as well. So in this instance, I could choose um, one of these ones, which are ones that are uh, currently created. So uh, this is a test task and no boy assigned to it, just I can't spell. Um, and that can work as my task ID. However, if I created a, um, a task as part of this, or maybe I use the list task action, I can actually just use um, the enter custom value here and use the ID from a previous task in here. Um, remove assigned users. So this is a semicolon separated ID, so your Azure Active Directory ID, or uh, an email address the user is assigned to. So in this instance, I'm going to choose my email address, which uh, should be my clipboard right there, and I can remove that user. So if you have multiple users assigned something, you do need to specify in the IDs. There's not one action that will remove all of them from that, um, from that task. So you do need to know the users that you are unassigning, but you can get this information from other, other types like listing, listing tasks and stuff like that. So let's flick over to Planner for a second. So in Planner, I have four tasks. So I have um, these three tasks are ones that are assigned to me. So this one, I think, is the one that we're going to unassign from me. So at the moment, it says Matt Collins there, and you can see, if I click into it, you can see it's assigned to me, my maiden name. If I go back to um, my flow, uh, I can run this, and that should unassign me. So if I click on test, I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, click done, see the flow run successfully, and we can see uh, that it's updated and um, gives me all this information back. If I go back to Planner and just refresh the page, if I go to Assign to Bucket, we can now see that that task that was previously under me is now back into that unassigned. Um, so that's how we can use this to to unassign things. Now, I can I what I, one of the thing I, one of the things I could do is I could list my tasks, pull back the ID um, of a task that's assigned to me, and then use that as the as the ID to remove it. So there are there are multiple ways to do this. You can list through tasks and stuff like that. So it's it's really useful um, and and really handy. You could even you could even loop through this as well. So if you had um, you you could list uh, list all the tasks that you have, and you could loop through and, and on assign a user. <coughs> so say someone's moving on from a project or you know, leaving the business, something like that, you need to mass unassign um, tasks from them. <coughs> One of the things you could do is you could um, run this through a loop and uh, list the tasks specified against a user and then loop through and um, unassign them from all of them. So there's loads and loads of different ways that you can automate these things to make them more powerful. Um, and as always, I'd like to know what you guys are using these for. Let me know in the comments down below what you use this for. Um, I think it's it's really handy um, to mass to, to like unassign users from tasks uh, automatically. So I'm a big fan of automation, as you can probably tell 
from these videos. Uh, I always like to automate where I don't need to do manual things. So let me know what you guys use this for down below. If you could like and share this video with your friends, if you found it useful, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.